I knew the song that was playing was Dead Angle, but I couldn't think of the name. I couldn't think of the name, but I knew Dead Angle was playing. Once again, there was a call from Klaus to the guest house. And the message was that Kinzo wanted to hold a test to see if the grandchildren had the qualifications to be the next head. From Klaus's restrained style of speech, Jessica realized as his daughter that he was being forced to speak. And she was forced into, into the realization that the hostages were being exposed to danger even now. And that if they refused this test, there was a possibility that the hostages would be harmed. So, so Klaus held the receiver away from his ear, then looked at the grinning Kenzo on the other side of the bars. Kenzo gave his next order. I don't know why. I don't know why, but seeing Klaus looks so sad behind bars. I don't know why, but that kind of... That kind of gets me chuckling for some reason. Just seeing Klaus looking so sad behind the bars. Klaus looks so sad behind the bars. Klaus looks so sad He's plotting Second Twilight. He's plotting Second Twilight, isn't he? Sokoye Goda to Kumasawa wo tojikome te seijou seiyo. Hmm, mazu wa sore kara da. Oh, they're so fucked. Tadachi ni suikou suru you ni tsutai yo. They're so fucked. Wa ga bumu tachi ga kanshi suru. Well, congratulations to the both of them of surviving First Twilight. They're not going to get this far this time, but at least I give them a congratulations from escaping First Twilight and imprisonment from Gap. I gotta give them a congratulations for trying. <laughs> Klaus relayed to Jessica the orders to lock up Goda and Kubasawa. What test do you want to do? Hmm? Ah, it's actually a simple test. I want to show you the powers of the mother. <laughs> Is this going to be solving the epitaph or something a little bit more action action packed? Are we about to see a cousin battle royale here, Kenzo? With displeasure, Kyrie watched Klaus, who was talking with the children. It's regrettable, but for now, we can't refuse orders. In this dungeon, a feeble resistance won't amount to anything. If we provoke him too much and drive him into a position where he might kill us, there will no longer be any way to stop this murderer. For now, the only choice left is to obey his rules without agitating them. All the while, waiting for a chance. However, if we continue to obediently follow his commands, 
the children might be attacked in the so-called test, and they might even lose their lives. Whether we find obedience or try to resist, nothing will cause the situation to improve. Anyway, keeping our eyes peeled so that we don't let a single chance escape until the very end is the only possible possible resistance possible now. I should not look away to make. I should not look away from the line. I was trying to be more dramatic with my reading. But I looked away from the line and I forgot how it was structured. Oh my god, I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm gonna re I'm gonna repeat this line, I'm sorry. Anyway, keeping our eyes peeled so that we don't let a single chance escape until the very end is the only possible resistance now. I switched two words, but the meaning stays the same. <laughs> While telling herself this, Kyrie watched over Klaus as he delivered Kendo's orders. Kyrie なんとかここを出られれば、た、試してみましょう。金蔵さん、頼みがある。ん何か我が友よ。金蔵さんが子供たちを試したいというのはよくわかった。金蔵さんの納得のいくようにするという。Powers of friendship on Kinzo, isn't he? Kinzo san no chikara ga nakereba, tokko ni tsugurete ita kamo shirenai ushiro miyaketa. Sono ninaite o shinchou ni erabita i kimochi, yoku wakaru. Sore ni, sono tame no shinzoku kaigi da. Watashi da ga jama wa sen yo. Hmm. Hmm. Omae no likai ga erarete taskaru. そうだ。<笑> Oh. At Nanjo's words, the slight signs that Kinzo's mood had been improving were blown away. A moment of silence struck Nanjo as Kinzo glared at him with dangerous eyes, as though evaluating him. Virgilio's taking the bait! それはできん。ああ、ケンゾ <laughs> Virgilia had tried to help out too, but in the end, Kinzo was having none of it. Hey Gap! ここを破ったとて何もなりません。確かに。ここを破ったならゴールドスミスのゲームが終わることを意味する。あなたたちもそしてゲストハウスの人間たちも即座に金蔵の儀式の生贄となるでしょうね。でもあんたあなたたちだ
Don't be enticed by the devil. Do not be enticed by the devil. I'm looking at you especially, Canon. <laughs> Canon, do not be enticed. Do not be enticed, Canon. Gap. Gap sent one final sneering at er uh, Cap sent one final sneering smile at Cannon and then turn away. Cannon could only bite his lower lip and shake his fist. ゴダたちを倉庫に閉じ込めるよう指示をしました。よかろう。電話を切ってよい。シエスタ姉妹。孫たちがゴダと熊沢を閉じ込めるのを監視せよ。もしも死んだ動きがあるようならば、その時点で
answering wordlessly so that she would not cause any trouble. <笑>さて、さて。テストとは、そして試験君とは今回のゲームは変わった試みですね。お嬢様を楽しませる展開になると良いのですが。さあ、さあ、おいでなさい。ヤギの従者たち。Virgilia called out into the dark, and from that spot, three massive goat-headed attendants slowly melted into vision. <laughs> Kenzo turned with a grand swish of his cloak. Following him were Renove and Gap as well as the three recently summoned goat attendants. <laughs> the goats jumped in surprise and then came plodding back. <laughs> Kyrie, who had been watching in disbelief as all this played out, couldn't help but snort. But he never told us the command to be silent. She was probably a little embarrassed. Virgilia had spoken coldly, but Kyrie could see right through that, and for a little while, she couldn't restrain her muffled laughter. However, on the inside, Kyrie was surprised at the number of people Kinzo had with him. Because, including Kinzo himself, at least 10 enemies had already been spotted. The dungeon they were currently locked in was supposedly underneath the hidden mansion called Kuadorian. Although this mansion's existence had been whispered of, not even Kloss had known it for a fact until today. Were there actually several facilities like this on Rokunjima, unknown to all but Kinzo? Hiding untold numbers of henchmen that only Kinzo knew of? Just how many humans are on Rokunjima, locked away by the Typhoon? No, actually. Are we the only ones under the impression that there are only 18 people on this island? As we bickered over wh whether Beatrice existed or not, and racked our brains over something as minor as a 19th person. Were we on this island the perfect example of frogs in a well? No, wait, in fact, at this point, are there actually more people on the enemy side than on ours? <laughs> A mass murder by magic. Demons forming and disappearing in thin air. More importantly than the enemy's numbers. How should we interpret the various things thrust before our eyes that cannot be explained with the common sense of this world? Kyrie started to feel like she didn't know what was going on anymore. And while desperately battling the urge to abandon everything and give up, she clenched her teeth in an attempt to hold onto her sanity. 
Oh man. Oh man, come on, Kyrie. Think through this. Oh jeez. <laughs> right to locking up Godon Kumasawa to be slaughtered. Uh, again, again, I have to give them applause for escaping Gap. I have to give them applause for escaping Gap, but now, now, their death is inedible. Their deaths are inedible, like, I know they're so screwed. As soon as, as soon as the shutters shut, as soon as they shut the shutters and leave the two inside the storehouse, Kenzo's gonna enter the storehouse and slaughter the two of them. I know that's gonna happen. I just know. Kenzo's gonna enter the storehouse, and he's gonna kill the both of them. Obviously, Goda and Kumasawa were quite unwilling to be locked in the Rose Garden shed. But, they have been threatened that, if they resisted, the hostage's safety could not be guaranteed. It was fairly hard to get them to agree. But once the idea was raised that their safety might actually be guaranteed if the key to the guarding, gardening storehouse was to be handed to them through a crack, cracked open window after they were shut inside. And it was suggested that blankets and food could be carried in for them. They were finally convinced. This is <sighs> わたしたちはいつまでここに閉じ込められていればいいのでしょうか。下手をすると月曜の朝までまるまる一昼夜はいてもらうことになるかもしれない。本当にお二人には申し訳なく思うよ。George and Battler cleared a space on the floor, then spread the blankets there. They also left the canned food, crackers, and other light snacks they had brought. At this door.何も打ち方になれないことを申し訳なく思います。こんな時に皆さんのお側にいてこその私どもなのに仕方ないです。それより熊沢さんをよろしく頼みますね。何が起こるかわからない。いざという時は臨機応変に助けてほしい。そして何
making the two of them seem even more pitiful. pitiful. But on the other hand, it would pr protect them from Kinzo and his subordinates, or so one ho would hope. He opened the window and called out. ここじゃ換気できないからね。辛いだろうけど、今は仕方がない。僕たちは人質を取られている。逆らえない。ええ。<笑> George threw the key in through the tiny window. Goda took the key and, after showing it to Kumasawa, placed it in his own pocket. There was only one key to the gardening shed shutter. That was being held by those who were locked up inside it. If the children had held onto it, then if it was stolen from one of them by some chance, that would risk expo exposing the lives of those in the shed to danger. And even with the key, the shutter could not be opened from the inside. It satisfied Kenzo's demand. However, there was no, now no longer any way to open the shed from the outside either. This would protect them. No perfect locked room. Perfect locked room. Kinzo had ordered that they be confined, and we could do nothing but trust that this coal locked room would protect them. Holding Maria's hand, Jessica watched George hand over the key, then looked over the thickets in the pitch-black rose garden. Somewhere in this darkness, somebody was hiding, watching to see whether they obeyed orders or not. Of course, merely pointing their flashlights out there did nothing to make any suspicious so what's appear. But somebody was surely out there, hiding and watching. They were hit many times with an urge to scream at them, but they held back through reason. They held that back for the reason. The four children left the area behind, repeatedly looking back over their shoulders. And that would be the last they saw of them. The feeble light from the light bulb and the gardening storehouse was seeping out slightly. Was it at all possible that this insane incident would somehow come to an end? So that they could see those two again? to George, who had closed the shutter himself. The resistance of the lock made it feel as though he had killed them with his own hands. Yeah, he kind of did. But <laughs> Maria, no! Don't do this right now, Maria! And... Maria, this is not the time! Not the time, girl. Not the time. あいつ。不謹慎なことで笑うんじゃねえぜ。何が魔女復活の儀式だ。もうそう
urged on by George, everyone began walking towards the guest house. At that moment, Jessica spun around and warred towards the darkness of the Rose Garden. <laughs> of course, there was no reply. Only the howl of the wind and the rain. The children returned to the guest house, in fear of what would be waiting for them when they got back. Bodies? Uh, <laughs> I thought they were gonna walk in and they moved the bodies into the guest house. I don't know why that thought came into my head. That's a morbid ass thought, but at the same time, that would that would have been quite the shocking up twist. <laughs> After they departed from the exact point in the darkness that Jessica had yelled at, two rabbit ears sprung up. Boy. <laughs> She was gonna, you know, fade in through the butterflies, and I was gonna be disappointed that they didn't have her jump up like a rabbit would. But I was absolutely wrong. They actually had four, five, forty-five jump up like a rabbit. Right as I was saying the boing. <laughs> oh fuck! <laughs> oh damn! Damn! All right. Is um four one zero gonna do the same? Organ short, two number two hundred million in C minor. Okay, I thought four one zero was gonna jump up, but nah. <laughs> uh oh. Oh, so they're not gonna go into the shed and kill them? Yay! 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 <laughs> Shrugging shoulders. <laughs> uh, of the Chesters, I have to say, four one zero is my favorite right now. <laughs> it certainly seemed to be a fact that they were being watched. Hell's Halls. Because once they returned to the cousin's room, turned the lights on, and lay down on their beds, the phone rang again. Up until now, Jessica had been answering the phone, seeing as it was her own house. But now it was George, as the eldest, who picked it up. This time, Kirei-san was on the other end of the phone. George handed it to Bowler out of consideration. She's going to speak in riddles. I cannot wait for the riddle she's going to say, just to get Bowler a, you know, idea of where they are. The fact that they were hostages still hadn't changed. 
and Kinzo, or one of his subordinates, was probably listening to this conversation. Fowler restrained the urge to talk about other things, and focused on what Kyrie had to say. Oh, okay. Oh, the order of... The order of who's most likely to succeed. There we go. Since Jessica is the eldest son's son, George is the eldest daughter's dot son. <laughs> you you get the gist of what I'm, what's go going on here. You get the gist from what I was saying. <laughs> Battler repeated it out loud so that his cousins would understand. Battler repeated it out loud so that his cousins would also understand. Jessica, Aniki, Ore, Maya no Junde, Yobia Sigara, the Heani, Dana, Wakata. So, first off, we have Jessica. Fowler noticed the strange nuance in Kyrie's words. Even without any blood connection, he could still understand, thanks to the long-lasting bond they shared. Now was not the time to worry about the future of the Ushiomiya family. That wasn't the message that Kyrie wanted to send. She probably meant, there is no way for us to escape from this dungeon, and we can only wait to be rescued. Our lives are in, our lives are in your hands. Something like that. ああ、任せてくれ。どんなテストか知らねえが上等だぜ。受けて立ってやな。うん。本気のテストなんだよな。マジにやっちまって。いいんだよな。え、本気のテストよ。おじいさんも本気で試すつもりでいるわ。ダ
Though she could only be, she might be only a witch in her head, so she might not, you know, succeed as much. But maybe with Kinzo's game, she'll be quite successful or not. If she's only a witch in her head, she has no chance against Kinzo. But if her, if her mind starts spewing out into the real world and starts affecting Kinzo's game, she might have a chance to be the one to win rather than Bowler. I want to root on for Jessica and George. I'm going to clarify this now. I want to root for them, but I have little hope of them being successful. I, I'm just saying this now. I have little hope of them being successful because they kind of been minor characters in this episode. Like, yes, they're pretty big characters since they're also the other kid characters, but there's not been a lot of exploration into them in this episode, and since there's not been a lot of exploration into them in this episode, I have some doubts about, you know, their ability to, you know, win their test. Though, of course, I might be surprised. I might be surprised. But I have a feeling that if there is to be a winner of Kinzo's test, it's either going to have to be Balor or Maria. So style. Unfortunately, Kinzo's voice was not picked up by the receiver. So Kyrie spoke for him. いい、バトラ君。手加減は不要よ。あなたはルドルフさんの息子。ムーン。いいえ。私の息子よ。誰に自慢しても恥ずかしくないところを私にも見せてちょうだい。あなたに全てを託すわ。了解だぜ、母
覚悟を決めているなら奈緒のこと上等だぜみんなの命は私たちの創建にかかってるってことだ人質みんなは囚われの身で何もできないなら私たちが何とかするしかねえんだぜもし何かあったらゲストハウスに逃げ戻ってその時点で僕たちがおじい様のゲームに付き合うのは終了だ兄貴その時点で僕たちは宣戦布告どこかに閉じ込められている彼らを救い出しおじい様にはしかるべき処遇を与えるいいのか兄貴シャノンちゃんもいるんだろ<笑>だからといって僕は座して婚約者が殺されるのを待ちはしないよ僕が恐ろしいのはおじい様にシャノンが殺されるかもしれないことに怯えることじゃない僕の婚約者に恐怖を味わわせたクソじじいを君らが僕より先に<笑>なるほどな確かにこいつは次期当主が誰かを決めるってテストらしいぜだなクソじじいの顔面に一番最初に拳をお見舞いしたやつを<笑>通したぜ<笑> Oh man that's how I want my parents to go I would kill my own family like his own did but the first one to punch me punch old grandpa in the face gets the inheritance that's what I'll do fuck it I won't kill my family though, like Kenzo did, but you know what? Fuck it. If I have to give away an inheritance in the future, I'm just gonna tell my grandchildren the first one that punch me square in the face gets the inheritance. Without the added threat of, you know, killing their parents or locking them up. No, I'm just gonna tell them flat out the first one to hit me in the face gets the inheritance. I'll flat out say that. <laughs> George, Balor, and Jessica each forcibly nodded their heads and put their fists together. No, of course, I would never do that to my grandparents. <laughs> I would never do that to mine. My own. Let me clarify. I would not hit my own. But I would let mine hit me. <laughs> Then, Jessica headed off to her own room, as designated. Her form disappeared into the darkness of the Rose Garden, which was shaking in violent winds. As they saw her off, George and Balor hardened their trembling fists. Hell yeah! Hell yeah! Jessica's back was watched through the window by Maria, who had remained upstairs. Her expression was blank. Why are people sad when people die? That's Maria right now. <laughs> I'm sorry, I shouldn't be making fun of Maria. No, that, that was, uh, that's not cool of me. That's not cool of me. Jessica's form had already been completely swallowed up by the darkness. At that time, the phone began to ring again. Organ short, number 600 million C minor. Battler and George heard it and came clamoring back, but Maria picked up the receiver right away. Mushy, mushy. Oh no, it's gonna be a call from someone like you know, <laughs> Beatrice or something, maybe. It's gonna be Beatrice, isn't it? Oh, shit! This time, it was Shannon on the phone. And the purpose of the message was to tell the next person, George, where he was to go. Oh? Mineko no Naku Korani. Rondo the Witch and Reasoning. Oh. Wait. Was that only 10 minutes? I forgot how play drops in the beginning of the song. Wait. A have I heard play? It sounds similar to a song. No, I don't think I've actually heard this. No, have I? For some reason, I think I've heard this song. I recognize the name. 
Did this song play earlier or am I going crazy? I think this song played earlier. No, this song definitely played earlier. But anyways, anyways, the next head is the chapter I'll be reading next time. And holy fuck. Holy fuck. <laughs> I have to say, George jumped up in, in you know, favorite character rankings with that line he said alone. And the sprite he, 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 he had when he was saying that line cemented how 10 out of 10 that entire moment of George was, which brought him up in my own personal character rankings. Damn, that was actually kind of cool what, what he did right there. That was kind of cool the way they presented him, his resolve into accepting Kinzo's game. Fuck, man. <laughs> I have to say, for some reason, I just find the whole concept of them just being like, all right, first one hit, Grandpa, that's next head. Not the one who wins this game, the first one to whap him in the face. Oh, man. I have a feeling that Valor is going to be the first one to whap him in the face. But I'm going to give Jessica and George some benefits of the doubt. But I really do not think they're going to be successful. So it's either going to be Maria or Battler. But the more I think about Maria, I don't think she's going to win. Because she doesn't care. She doesn't care about all this. So she probably will not win this game of Kinzo's because she doesn't care. So of course... She might care if there's an incentive. Kinzo could be giving her an incentive to play his game, maybe. Or one of the demon demons will. And that incentive might involve a stuffed animal. I see where Maria might enter this game. Someone's gonna give her an incentive to join. Maybe. I'm just giving a, you know, guess. But, oh man, I cannot wait till next time. I cannot wait till next time to see if any of them become the next head. Or if they're going to fail horribly. Honestly, I can't tell. I actually cannot tell if they're going to fail horribly or if they're going to be successful. Because this is late into the game. Yeah, I think this might be late into the game. Because I've been playing episode 4 for a little while. But of course, it's not over yet. It's still only like, wait, what time is it? Hold on, it's 11-11 uh, on the first day. So we still have a whole day for, I mean, for things to go down. Unless this game ends qu quicker than, you know, previous ones. But I don't know. I actually don't know. I'm actually looking forward to see what happens in the rest of this game. But this is chapter 16, and the previous chapters did end around 18 to 20. So we're towards the end of the game. What else is there left? Or is this going to be the longer game because this is the last of the question arcs? Honestly? Honestly, I'm just going to have to keep on playing to figure out. Like, I'm asking rhetorical questions because all I need to do is continue on playing than just, you know, asking flat-out questions. So anyways, I'm going to leave everyone off with here right now. Can't do endings. I haven't done them in a while. Why am I trying one? I should just cut to the ending card. <laughs> Okay, okay.